Olivia de Young is a relatively new face with just over a dozen acting credits to her name. Thanks to her performance as Priscilla Presley in Baz Luhrmann's critically acclaimed musical biographical blockbuster Elvis, Olivia de Young has finally reached the point in her career where new fans are beginning to become aware of her. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Olivia de Young. She started her career as a voice actor. Olivia de Young was born on April 30, 1998, in Melbourne, Australia. She eventually moved to Perth later in her life and studied at All Girls Presbyterian Ladies College. Her professional acting career began when she was eight, as a voice actor. Her first voiceover gig was in a radio ad for a prominent hardware chain. That led to lots more voiceover work, including as many as 40 radio advertisements overall. But that phase of her career lasted only until 2010 when she nabbed the starring role in a short film The Good Pretender. Several more roles in other short films materialized for de Young over the next few years, but it wasn't until 2012 that big things started to happen. That was the year she was cast in the American feature film The Sisterhood of Night, which premiered in 2014. It was also the year she got snapped up by her first Australian agent. She was soon cast in the Australian television limited series Hiding, which aired in 2015. Her big break. Her first big break came when M. Night Shyamalan cast her in his quirky, found footage thriller, The Visit. In the film, de Young played one of two teen siblings whose visit to their grandparents' rural Pennsylvania farmhouse turns terrifying. The film came to be known as M. Night Shyamalan's comeback film. For de Young, it was her golden ticket into mainstream Hollywood cinema. She didn't like Shakespeare before being in Will, but the show changed her mind. In 2016, Dion got her first ever major role in a TV series. She was cast as the main female lead in the pilot for the TNT miniseries Will, a fictionalized account of Shakespeare's life aimed at Gen Z. Due to the fact that she had no interest in Shakespeare and had never been able to connect with any of his works in the classroom, playing the part would be difficult for her. As a result, she came very close to turning down the offer. She told Nylon, Before I read the script, I wasn't interested because I didn't like Shakespeare. At all thought he was boring and dusty, but it wasn't until I read the script and spoke to Craig and Shekhar and listened to them explain the idea behind it that I was like, this is different. After spending some time on the show, the actress completely changed her opinion on the playwright. She worked with a movement coach to prepare for playing a real-life person in Elvis. Even though the connection between Elvis and his manager, Colonel Tom Parker, is undoubtedly the most important aspect of Elvis, de Young's performance as Elvis' wife has been praised as one of the film's strengths. She not only had to prepare for a complex role, but she also had to prepare to play a real person, which isn't always easy. To perfect her performance, the actress had the help of Polly Bennett, the movement coach, who helped Rami Malek prepare to play Freddie Mercury and Emma Karin prepare to play Princess Diana. Bennett helped her understand the idea of always being seen and how that affects your body. For de Young, capturing Priscilla's physicality was all about finding her energy of femininity and, more importantly, groundedness. Whatever these two did in rehearsals, it clearly paid off. She has always been fascinated by Baz Luhrmann's work. Funnily enough, de Young has always been a fan of Baz Luhrmann's work. In an interview with Aussie outlet The AU Review, she mentioned that she's a big fan of his 1996 adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. She called it one of the best that's ever made, saying, I actually studied that film in ninth grade. A funny little full circle. But yeah, I wrote an essay on it. I should find that essay and show it to him. He can grade it out of 10. She will consider herself a success when she can help smaller projects get off the ground. So, what exactly is a success, according to Olivia de Young? You would think that starring in a show on HBO and a film by Baz Luhrmann would qualify as a success for any actor. But for de Young, success isn't just about money or fame. She told Nylon, I'll know success has come my way when I'm able to bring a project that I'm really passionate about off the ground or find it some kind of support it wouldn't have gotten otherwise. I feel like the industry plays it safe a lot of the time, but there are times when it tries something different and it pays off. I'd love to be someone who can help something like Moonlight happen. By the sounds of things, de Young is less interested in having success for herself. Instead, she's more keen on helping important projects get off the ground. Could this mean a turn to producing or directing in the future? Who knows? But whatever she decides to do next, we know she'll be a huge success by anyone's standards. She had once planned to study psychology and she still might do so in the future. 
Although she may have a successful career in the film industry, she also has academic interests. Her initial plan after high school was to study psychology at university. But, according to a 2022 interview with The West Australian, she never made it to university as she decided instead to see how far her acting career could go. But there may be a time when De Young does return to school to pursue her interests in psychology. As she told Perth now, I would never want to focus my whole life just on acting. I love to learn. I love different things. I think you want to keep yourself balanced in this industry. She struggled for work. Following the success of the visit, Dion began a brief stint as a scream queen. Her breakout performance paved the way for other horror roles such as in the Scare campaign and Better Watch Out. But in the aftermath of these flicks, she struggled to secure substantial work for several years. She had previously detailed her difficulties in dealing with industry rejection in a 2015 interview with Perth Now, in which she divulged the extent of her failed auditions. She said, With all the auditions you do, there is a lot of rejection. I've done more than 70 auditions in about four years. Early on, it was hard for me because I'd become so attached to these characters and then you'd be told no. Despite seemingly having overcome these setbacks via her Hollywood breakthrough, De Young nonetheless floundered for a few years. This is perhaps attributable to that difficult transition period for many former child actors when they start attempting to secure grown-up parts. Accordingly, she once again began appearing in short films and had bit parts in fare such as Aussie drama hiding. Eventually, however, the work began to steadily come in. She told the Daily Telegraph in 2017 that after navigating the bumps along her journey, the transition from child to young adult actor was fairly smooth. She is a high-profile brand ambassador. Having made numerous public appearances throughout 2022, Olivia de Young has been praised for her sense of style. Hello noted her huge silver platforms at a special screening of Elvis, she channeled her inner baby spice with the snazzy Y2K-esque pumps. Stylist Chloe Hartstein told WWD, it's great to dress her because she has such a range. She feels really good in tailoring and a suit, but she also feels great in a bodekin dress. She's not afraid to play within that range. Basically, the actor's sartorial flair has not gone unnoticed, and she's subsequently been made a brand ambassador for luxury labels such as Cartier, having joined their Australian Panther tribe. She's also become a jewelry and watch brand ambassador for Bulgari. Accordingly, she wowed at the 2022 Met Gala, her first appearance at the prestigious fashion event, and custom-made Bulgari and Prada. Her first role was all about girl power, which set her up as a feminist. In all of her interviews, Olivia de Young comes across as balanced, thoughtful, and put together. This hardly comes as a great surprise considering the fact that her very first real role was in The Sisterhood of Night, a movie about teenage witches in a modern-day version of the Salem Witch Trials. For the young de Young, it was the perfect first project to introduce her to the importance of supporting women in the business. She told Nylon, I was 14 when I did that. Practically a fetus child. It was great though, a cast of women, written by women, directed by women, produced by women. I was very lucky. Now, she describes herself as a proud feminist. For her, giving women equal rights to men is essential. She told Confidential, it is just about being equal. It is about us all being human and us all being the same. Perhaps her first film helped her take on board her feminist principles from a young age.